Good afternoon plant lovers and welcome to the holiday baking edition. Today we're going to do some 45 minute quick cinnamon buns and they go down a treat. So the first thing you need to do before anything is put the oven on, get it nice and hot and without further ado let's get started. So let's get started. You need two cups of flour plus a three quarter cup as well. So two cups and three quarters. Um, I don't bother sieving it. Then you need three tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of um, salt. And then just one packet of easy uh, fast action yeast. And then you need two tablespoons of butter. And I'm just going to melt them and then put it in and mix it together. Then you add, it's a quarter cup of milk and half a cup of water and then you combine it and also add an egg and start to mix it first with the spoon that will save the flour sticking on your hands even though it will I'll also put a link to the recipe that I got this from and then you need to knead it and turn it into what looks like a good piece of dough and then I take it out the bowl and continue kneading it. If you need to add additional flour to get it to not be sticky then do that and you'll know that it's ready when it stops sticking on your hands. And then roll it out, I like to roll it out into a big kind of rectangle shape if possible. It's not pizza so we don't need it to be round. So roll out your dough and see, we haven't, at this stage, we haven't allowed it to rise or anything. We've just taken it straight from kneading onto a board, and rolled it out, and then melt some butter and spread it all across the surface. Um, you can use more butter than this. It'll be more tasty, but obviously I'm trying to be a bit sparing. Uh, and then you get cinnamon powder. And if you have it, brown sugar, but I didn't have brown sugar to hand, so I just used white sugar. Mix it up and then spread it over the flat surface of the dough that's just had butter on it. Um, it's quite fun, this process. And we're almost there. Okay, so next what we're going to do is just roll one edge of the dough in long ways and you're just aiming to make kind of a, a long sausage shape. Just keep rolling, it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can tell, I'm not a perfect baker. And there you've got your sausage. And then just get a knife and start cutting. This is my favourite part. And as you can see, you can start to see the cinnamon rolls form. So just cut it till you reach the end. Then you want to get a fairly shallow dish. You can either put butter at the bottom or put greaseproof paper or baking paper, which is what I did, and arrange the rolls in there, leaving some space in between. Now, as the rolls are going to need some space as the dough rises. So the next step after you've arranged your rolls on your plates is that you need to switch the oven off. Remember that you had to put it on initially. Now you switch the oven off. It'll be nice and hot. And all you're going to do is you're going to place your uh, dishes in the, in the oven. What this does, it fast tracks the rising process. So instead of waiting two hours for them to rise, you get them to rise in 10 minutes. So as you can see now, I've just taken them out of the oven that was switched off. It was a warm oven. Then I switched it off and they've already risen. After rising in the switched off oven, put them back in the oven on gas mark 5 for a further 20 minutes and then they will come out cooked just like you can see here. Then just prepare some icing sugar and milk and spread it over the top. And honestly, these really didn't last in my house. They were gone the same day, both trays of it. They are so tasty and so good um, and nothing's better than when it's hot. The other reason I like this recipe is that it usually can be done with things that you already have in your kitchen. You don't really need to go out and buy anything special. 
So my loves, thank you to everybody for your support and all my gardening friends and making me feel part of the gardening YouTube community. Uh, nothing's left but to wish you a happy new year and as always, take care until next time. See you in 2021.